Hey everyone, this is Scott from MySeps and I have a new video for you today. Um, today I want to show you a little trick that I learned on how to separate gradients. Um, a lot of people have a hard time working with gradients in Photoshop and you want to get that uh, overlap of colors, um, those smooth transitions that are really hard to get um, in a screen print. So, um, as you can see my RGB isn't much help here. The, the blue isn't really doing anything. Um, the green has kind of a hard edge here. Um, the red looks pretty smooth but it still could use some work. Uh, so basically I'm just going to walk you through the process that I always do when I separate gradients. Um, I've got my gradient here on a layer and then I've got these other black layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my first layer here make a mask out of it. This be my black. I'm going to load this gradient and make a mask. Okay. And then I'm going to load my black outline. Okay. And then I'm going to flatten it. And save as Steps. Copy to a new file, paste, move it over here for color reference. Okay, and now I'm going back to my other file here and I'm going to um, do my knockouts on this. So I'm going to start at the bottom here and I'm going to knock out my gradient. And then I don't need to knock out my black because um, that's already a black mask. So I'm going to go up to the next one, grab my gradient, knock out the black on top. So now I'm left with three things, my black, my gradient, and my other black. The two blacks can go together. So I'm going to command click and uh, add that one to that one. So now I just have two masks, uh, black and my gradient. So now I'm going to make a background. And red. I'm going to click my eyedropper here. Let's make that a white channel. Yellow. Okay. Let's go two on that. Now if I decide to change the uh, print order on this, I can do so at any time. Not a big deal. And I think I will do that actually. Black's going to be 100% solidity. So I'm going to go red, yellow, green, black. Um, the black's pretty simple. I already have my black mask. I'm going to load that and fill it with black. And then that is done. Now the gradient. The, the easiest way that I've found to get the gradient is to actually just simply remake the gradient in the separation by eye. So you can what you can do is like um, if you want to draw some guides maybe to help you can put a guide where the transitions are like this where the blends are and then that will help you um, do this so basically just grab your your um, gradient make sure you're going from foreground color to nothing which is the second one here and then you're going to load your gradient mask and you're going to start um, a little ways below this line and you're going to end a little ways above it. So you're going to go like this. Boom. So you have that nice blend. Then you're going to go to your green mask and you're going to do the same. You're going to start below this line and end up over here. Okay. So you have something like that. So you put the red, you put the red and the and the uh, green together, and you can see here what's happening. So now the yellow one, what you want to do 
is you want to change your gradient to the tri gradient here, which basically it'll it'll start and start basically. So instead of just going one direction, you're going to be I'll show you right here. So you're going to start in the middle of these two transitions and you're going to go up to about here. So now you have that blend going into the green and into the red also. So see it actually gradates both ways for that middle one. So then you can kind of see if that's if that matches close enough and if not you can just redo the ones that you don't like but if I uh, if I clear these guides here this looks pretty close to this and it's gonna print just great because you have those overlaps of color see both colors go up to here and then it leaves a little space in the middle for the pure yellow and then all the rest of this is like blending yellows so um, you can move this around depending on how you uh, want it. Sometimes I like to have um, the gradient with that goes into both on the bottom and then put the other ones on top. So you can do it that way too. Um, another thing that you can do is let's say you wanted a little more yellow. You can, you can load this channel and delete it from the other colors and you'll get more yellow coming through and then you can just go back in and adjust your levels to increase it a little bit to get that blend back again it's kind of a way of cheating I guess but it just it works so good that that's what I always do when I do um, gradients and then you're black there so there's my gradient. Let's change the yellow to number one and then we'll have the other colors on top. One, two, three, four. So that's it. So that's how I do gradients. Um, if you wanted to do, you could even change it up and just do a two-way gradient. So if you wanted to delete this and just have it just don't wanted to have a red and yellow. You would just put a line in the middle. Let's get a better line here. And uh, you know you would start in here and go over there. Oh, we got to switch back to this one. Okay. See, and then you have the one-way gradient. So you can switch these around to see which one works best. And then if you want to knock them out of each other, you can. And then adjust levels to get that blend better. And you'll have a perfect transition. So yeah, that's gradients. And I just wanted to share that with you. If you like this video, please uh, give a like and a subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.